So check this out people. Today I want to talk about a new computer we got, but I want to tell you what we had in the past. So we uh, are a travel channel, so we do a lot of videos, and so we do a lot of editing. So I want to put a good word out about the comp uh, laptop we have been using, which is a HP NV360. And it's been a great laptop. It's a uh, 7i and it's worked very well and it's actually handled the responsibilities of making and rendering videos but at my age <laughs> as you can see I got glasses on I needed to move up to a computer that was uh, just as powerful just as uh, that could handle rendering real well but I needed a bigger screen but I didn't want to go to a, a tower computer so what I chose was, was the, the 27 inch pavilion all-in-one and I just want to make sure that you understand that we very, we're very very happy with the HP 7i uh, NV360. It's served us well. We will continue to be using it for different types of projects but it was time to move on due to the fact that we actually do our travel from an RV and we needed to conserve space. So let's move on to what we bought. So I'd like to introduce you to our new Pavilion 27 inch PC. We needed a computer that was good to put in an RV and have on the table and still have a little table space left. We also run a podcast called RV Talk Radio and I needed to integrate the entire system together. What I like about this and what I wanted was a screen that was big, allow, allows me to see things a little easier due to my age and eyes, and I wanted good graphics and I wanted a fast computer. And this seems to have done the trick. The HP Pavilion also comes with a <coughs> CD-ROM burner and player built in, which in my laptop I had to use a portable one. And we've been very happy with this performance so far. So let me uh, tell you a little bit more of what's in this thing. There is a good graphic card in it, a GeForce GT 930A graphics card in here. And it really does a good job. The one thing I didn't like about this computer was the keyboard and mouse that came with it. It came with a uh, optical mouse, but it had a wire and it came with a very small keyboard so I did replace those out. I replaced the keyboard and mouse with a wireless system which I used a Logitech MK520 Advanced keyboard and mouse. It was very very easy to install and it's been working well. It's given me a nice big keyboard to work with and my mouse is now free. Less wires on the table. The HP Pavilion has 16 gigs of RAM. It also has one terabyte hard drive. And I always want, it's never big enough, but that's a lot of room to work with. And I highly advise that you get a good backup of about five terabytes. The HP Pavilion comes with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Been very easy to work with. Uh, also comes with Windows 10, so using those tools for connecting was not an issue whatsoever. The HP Pavilion All-in-One also comes with a built-in webcam. The HP Pavilion also comes with McAfee already installed on the software, for, so you're automatically protected as soon as you turn the machine on. I also have a th Microsoft 365 account with five licenses. I only used three of them so far. It was very easy to connect. Had no problems getting Microsoft Office on my machine and we we're doing good. So, so far with the Pavilion, it's turned out to be very good colors, very good graphics to work with and it's been making my job a lot easier for doing videos and editing. I've also found it to be nice. <laughs> And big so I can see what I'm doing and uh, sometimes I can get away without wearing my glasses um, most of all is once I got rid of the keyboard and mouse I've opened up my table space in here and I'm like I told you I'm in an RV 
so I, at least I have some working space and I don't have wires here for a mouse and a keyboard. If I was going to make a recommendation to HP, I would say send these out with a wireless keyboard and mouse. Since I'm doing this video around the holidays, I assume that these will come on sale, probably be some good deals for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, you can find this for a retail price around $12.95 on down depending on the sales through Amazon and I'll put a link below. I'll also put a link below for the keyboard and mouse combination. Both I highly recommend. The keyboard and mouse are working very well with this machine and uh, it gives me all the tools I want for the type of typing and editing I want to do. As far as the extra accessories I needed for this computer it was mo more about do I have enough USB connectors and do I have a burner, which I do, I don't have to use an external burner now, and do I have advanced connections for the future? And the answer is yes. Once I got rid of the keyboard and mouse uh, wires, I opened up some more USBs. I have three USBs I can use. One is underneath and two are in the back. I also have Firewire uh, connectors as I, I've never used them, but they're there. Uh, the other thing I found is my uh, earphone or headset plugs in right below here so it was very easy to get to. Uh, as you can see we also do a podcast from our uh, RV here called RV Talk Radio and it, it was very little effort for me to get this system tied into this system. I just had to plug into a USB, recognize the microphone and recognize my uh, mixer which is actually just my microphone <laughs> and it's working just fine so we're very pleased with it so all in all I give it a, a 9 9.5 out of 10 <clears throat> I'm very happy with it. it's working well I've not had any issues with it so far it seems to be running much faster than my laptop but I also don't have a lot of stuff on here either so that could slow it down I uh, I know these retail for around $12.95 on down. I think it's worth every penny uh, next to having a laptop, but obviously they'll never make a laptop this big, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's working well. So once again, I highly recommend it. Working good for us. I give it a thumbs up. It's an HP Pavilion touchscreen, all-in-one PC, and it's a 27-inch screen. Once again, if you're interested in buying one of these, we'll have links down below. And all I can say is check this out, people. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to look at our other videos and subscribe to our channel.